corresponding decrease in current liability to decrease in current liability is more than the decrease in current asset here. Yeah. So I put 16,000 as 100, 6,000 as 100, 3,000 as 100. Next, 20,000 divided by 16,000 into 100. Additional capital raise might have been used for the repayment of debt. So out of the capital, some amount can be utilized in order to pay the debt. Hello, my dear students. I am Dr. B.S. Subramanya, called by name Dr. B.S.S., Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Aid College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. I am going to hand Management Accounting, 6th Semester, Unit 2, Session 3, in favor of Financial Statement Analysis and Interpretation. So, we'll move on to problem now. Calculate the trend percentage from the following data of sale, stock, profit, or let me taking 2013 as the base here and interpret them here. Sales 16,000 16, is considered as 100, 6,000, 3,000 taking as a base. Then for this, uh, 20,000 divided by 16,000 into 100, 22,400 divided by 16,000 into 100. So we take the base of the sales as 16 is equal to 100. 16,000 is equal to 100. You want to know the result of 20,000. This is 20,000 divided by 16,000 into 100. So, 20,000 divided by 16,000 into 100 is 125. See that? This is 125. 20,000 divided by 16,000 into 100. Next one. 22,400. divided by 16,000 into 100. It comes 140. Here, see that? 22,400 divided by 160, 16,000 into 100 is 140. Then, next one. 25,600 Divided by 16,000 into 100. 25,600 divided by 16,000 into 100 is equal to 160. Last one. 32,000 divided by 16,000 into 100, it is 200. This goes in favor of say amount, stock. So, same thing goes in favor of here sales. Next, you have to start, same thing. Here also, same thing, you have to take the base. So, I put 16,000 as 100. 6,000 as 100, 3,000 as 100. Next, 20,000 divided by 16,000 into 100, 6,600 divided by 6,000 into 100, 3,900 divided by 3,000 into 100. An example for the stock, for stock. Stock, 6,600 divided by 6,000 into 100, 6,600 divided by 6,000 into 100, 110. So, it goes on, same thing. Here also, stock, the other trend goes to 
profit. Same thing it will go. So here, 16,000 into 100, 6,000 into 100, 3,000 into 100, 20,000. So 20,000 divided by 16,000 into 100 is 125. 22, 400 divided by 16,000 into 100 is 140. 25, 600 divided by 16,000 into 160. 32,000 divided by 16,000 into 100 is 200. Same thing here, 6,000 is equal to 100. Base, 6,600 divided by 6,000 into 100 is 110. 7,200 divided by 6,600 is 120. 8,400 divided by 7,200 is 140. 9,900 divided by 6,000 into 100 is 165. Here, 3,900 divided by 3,000 into 100 is 130. 4,200 divided by 3,000 into 100 is 140. 4,800 divided by 3,000 into 100 is 160. 6,000 divided by 3,000 into 100 is 200. Just taking the base and say that how much increase. Interpretation. The sale have been increased continuously in all the years up to 2007, though in different proportion. The sales in 2007 is double in the sales of 2000, so it's a good trend. If you see the sales of 2007, double the sales of 2013. So it shows it's a good trend. The profit also have been increased over the years, except 2014. In all remaining years, percentage of increase in profit is proportional to percentage of increase in sales. As sale increases, profit percentage also increases. In 2014, percentage of increase in profit is more than the proportional percentage of increase in sales. So it might be due to decrease in cost of goods sold or operating expenses. It is a good trend. This interpretation you have to write goes here. From the following balance sheet, calculate the 10% using 2015 as the base here. So you take the base here as 11 lakh, 13 lakh 20. So 11 lakh is equal to 100. 13 lakh 20 is equal to 15 lakh 40,000. How you have to do? 4 lakh 40,000 divided by 11 lakh into 100. It will go like this. 11 lakh, 13 lakh, 15 lakh. So 11 lakh is equal to 100. 13 lakh is equal to 120 and 15 lakh is 140. Then 4 lakh 40 is equal to 100. 6 lakh 60 is equal to 150, 150. Add this bonus part 15 lakh 40,000, 19 lakh 80,000, 22 lakh, 15 lakh 40 is 100. 19 lakh is equal to this one is equal to 100, 128, 142. Then debt 8 lakh Six lakh sixty thousand, two lakh hundred, seventy-five, twenty-five. Then current liabilities eleven lakh, thirteen lakh twenty thousand, eight lakh eighty thousand. This become thirty-five lakh twenty thousand, thirty-nine lakh sixty thousand, thirty-three lakh. Come back to fixer essay, seventeen lakh sixty thousand, seventeen lakh sixty thousand, fifteen lakh forty thousand, hundred percent, hundred percent, eighty-seven point five. 17 lakh 60,000, 22 lakh, 17 lakh 60,000, 100, 125 into 100. So this is 35 lakh 20,000, same, same percentage. It will come. Interpretation. The capital has been increased and this debt has been decreased over the years. It indicates that additional capital raise might have been used for the repayment of debt. So out of the capital, some amount can be utilized in order to pay the debt. It results in considerable improvement in the debt equal ratio over the hence long-term solvency of the concern is excellent. See that the capital has been increased and debt has been decreased over the year. It indicates the additional capital raiser might have been used for the repayment of debt whatever the additional capital has been raised in order to pay the debt. So, it shows a good trend. In 2016, there is increase in current liability, but there is a corresponding increase in the current asset too. And there is a slight improvement in current ratio because current asset also increases current. What is the current ratio? Current asset minus current liabilities. Current asset divided by current liability. So there is a 
corresponding increase in current asset there is a slight improvement in the current ratio in 2017 there is a decrease in current asset but there is a corresponding decrease in current liability also decrease in current asset decrease in current liability to decrease in current liability is more than proportional as compared to decrease in current asset. so there is a improvement in current ratio so the current liability is less than the current asset so there is a improvement in the current ratio hence short term solvency of the concern is very good because current asset also decrease current liability also decrease but current liability decrease more when compared to current asset it's a good sign see that as compared to decrease in current asset corresponding decrease in current liability to decrease in current liability is more than the decrease in current asset here decrease in current liability is more than the current asset so it shows a good sign it also shows a good sign so short term solvency is also very very good so this interpretation you have to write hope you understand here increasing debt whatever the debt we are going to pay out of the rise of the fund the debt has been paid here here current ratio is called to current asset divided by current liability whatever we say that current liabilities current ratio we take the current ratio current asset divided by current liabilities here regular liability you called as current liability regular current asset is there so here especially this no current asset also decrease current liability is also decrease but current liability decrease more when compared to current asset so this is a good sign of the short term solvency ratio hope you understand this is 10 percentage so they will ask for the 10 marks one is called capital one is called ordinary how you are going to solve take the base of the first year and make the percentage and especially balance sheet no you have to make the bonus fund then debt then current liability fixed assets and the current asset take the base of the first year as a base and make the trend values it becomes so much easy so this will ask for 10 marks from the examination of point of view in the next session we'll move on to ratio analysis which is the next is a very beautiful and how the ratio will be take till then goodbye meet in the next session with ratio analysis